All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem 500 squared minus 499 squared. So to solve this, what I'm first gonna do is rewrite this as 499 plus one squared minus 499 squared. And If I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So 499 plus 1 squared is turned into 499 squared plus 2 times 499 times 1 plus 1 squared. And I have this minus 499 squared. Now, I can cancel out 499 squared and negative 499 squared, so I'll be left with 2 times 499 times 1 plus 1 squared. 2 times 499 is 998, times 1 is just 998, and I have this plus 1 squared, which is plus 1, and this is equal to 999. Now, I actually have another method of solving this. So I have 500 squared minus 499 squared. And this time, I'm going to rewrite this as 500 squared minus 500 minus 1 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a minus b squared, this is equal to a minus b times a minus b, which is equal to if I factor the, this out, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So this is going to turn into 500 squared minus 500 squared minus 2 times 500 times 1 plus b squared, which is... 1 squared. So these two cancel out. However, this is actually going to be in parentheses. So the negative sign distributes. So this turns into 500 squared minus 500 squared plus 2 times 500 times 1, which is the same thing as 2 times 500 minus 1 squared. Now these two can cancel out, so I get 1,000 minus 1, which is equal to 999. So again, I get 999 as my answer. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of 3 minus 8 is equal to 0. So how most people solve this equation is they add 8 on both sides. So I get x to the power of 3 is equal to 8. And then they take the cube root on both sides. So the cube root of x to the power of 3 is x, and the cube root of 8 is 2. So then they get x equals 2, which is a solution to this equation. But actually, there are more than one solution to this equation. So I'm going to rewrite my equation here, x to the power of 3 minus 8 equals 0. And now I'm going to rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So I get x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. And then now I'm going to use the formula a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in this case, this turns into x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. So now I get two equations. I get x minus 2 equals 0 and x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, I get x equals 2, which was a solution that we already got. But now see on top of this, we have a whole nother equation with two more solutions because it's a quadratic equation. So to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So I get negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 4, all, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this turns into negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 16 over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus negative 12 over 2. 
which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 12i over 2, which is equal to negative 1 plus or minus 6i. So these are the two more solutions to this equation.